Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I wanted to have this new junk journal book that I had a video on a couple days ago completed a little bit so that I could show you. I wanted to um, do a video of how I constructed the uh, spine, but I don't know how to work camera yet and how to do fast forward and all that stuff. It's probably the software that I'm using. So what I did is I went ahead and just did it and then I'm going to show you what I did. All right, so the other day I went to um, Michael's and they had 40% off their Christmas ribbons. So initially I was going to use this for um, the spine. Um, I found this, which I just totally love, love, love. And then I found this snowflake ribbon, which is perfect for winter. All right. So it's funny because I originally wanted to use this, but I had some um, ribbon on hand, and this is what I used. It has the, like, dots of glitter so you can see that and then I just had some lace so what I did was I first put a layer of this with the glitter side up and then I covered it with the lace so that's what you get and I don't know if the camera's picking up the glitter underneath. But, so when I originally got this, it just didn't have enough coverage um, because the spine um, that I had to make for this had to be pretty heavy duty because I didn't show you in my previous video, but this book that I got, just I just got the book cover and it had like a few pages in there. It didn't have the whole book. Um, so... It was kind of difficult for me to um, attach everything. I have it hidden pretty good right here so you can't see it. I just added some ribbon here that I had on hand. And on the back, I used this ribbon. As you can see, it's not like totally even. You know, this is what happens when you're working with these old books. And that could have been part of my fault. It looks like I have it over a little bit more. But you know what? It's still good. It's still fine. All right, so what I did was I have three signatures with um, folded, five folded papers, um, which means uh, 10 pages per each signature, front and back, 20 per each signature. Um, so 60 papers, 60 pages front and back in the whole thing. All right, so. It was a little bit difficult. I was wanted to make sure that this songbook was very similar to the original. And what I mean by that is I went to a website called archive.com and found the, the book. Um, and uh, it's from Christmas 1893 is the dated page and this was one of the original pages um, this was one of the original pages and you can kind of see the gold uh, what do you call that gold I don't know what it's called but you know the gold around the page okay um, where was I so I wanted to get it similar to what the Library of Congress had on file and in that archive website it showed that the book had blank pages, a blank page and then the written page except for one page and that's the copyright page. It had um, both sides with something on it. So like I said, I tried to get it pretty close. Um, I had a little bit of difficulty because the original book 
was done page by page. And I don't know, I guess I had it in my head um, <laughs> to do it page by page, but then I remembered, okay, so if I have five folded pages and I open it up, one's going to be blank, and then the other side's going to be the written page. Um, this is the original. And I, um, I wanted the original in this book. I did make a copy from the archive.com, so I have a copy of this on file. Anyway, so I was getting all confused, so finally I went ahead and just got five papers, folded them, and then cut out whatever I printed and glued them onto that paper, if that makes sense. This one, I of course, it didn't have another side, so I had to um, I had to reconstruct, so this one, that's why I use the washi tape. So if you come over here, one, two, three. I have it attached. I can't remember how I did it. I just attached this white uh, copy paper with some washi, and that's why you see that washi here. Uh, if those of you who know, who have been doing junk journaling, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. For you newbies, um, just think of getting a whole bunch of papers and um, together like this. So one, two, three, four, five, and then that's how you're going to put them in to sew them into the spine. All right. And there's tons of videos out there that show a much better uh, way to do this than I am telling you right now. Um, what I did when I was a beginner is I watched a whole bunch of videos and then I just did it myself with a lot of mistakes along the way, but they teach you what not to do when you do mistakes, so it's all good. <laughs> all right, so anyway, going back to how I constructed the papers, um, I also uh, wanted to make the spine, or you know, this piece, when I'm sewing it in, I wanted to make this a little bit stronger, because um, I noticed in my past journals, they're coming up, they're coming out of the, um, I use embroidery floss, so it's just not, it's ripping the page, so I had to make some of the pages more sturdy. So, all right. There I just used a white copy paper on both of these. Actually this one, I put in this piece of paper, fed it into my copy machine. And then this I actually use, oops, I actually used um, coffee dyed paper and fed that through my machine. This paper um, is, you can't really see it because it's this piece right here, because it's the last one. Right? <laughs> it's the first page. Oh, I see what I did. So I didn't even, I made a pocket. I just, um, so what I did was, I just made it like that, and that's where I made a pocket. Because this is really sturdy paper, um, it's almost like um, vinyl. And look, I'll have to clean this up because I was making my marks all through it. So that's the first signature. Sorry if I'm all over the page. <laughs> Sounds funny. Um, so the second signature, since I went through the first signature with lots of mistakes, the second signature was much, it went way more smooth. Okay. Wallpaper, coffee dyed paper. I mostly use coffee dyed paper throughout this second signature. This page, because I had it on the wrong side, I when I ripped it, I kind of ripped it up here, but it kind of adds that old feel to it. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it like that. So we're coming to the end of the signature. This is my favorite, I think, 
of the illustration with the lion and the lamb and the angel. I just love that. Okay, so at the end, um, this is the last page of the book, and because of the way the pages fell, it's the first page in the third signature, the last signature. So what I went ahead and did was I added just different types of papers. And what I'm going to do is I got this idea. I was watching the Paper Bumblebee YouTube channel, and she got a Advent... Uh, let me look it up because I know I'm going to butcher this name. She got an Advent journal um, from a gal and let's see if I can look I want to I want to leave okay um, sorry about that it is una tacita de scrap una tacita de scrap she also has a great YouTube um, channel. Um, she does speak Spanish, so um, it's difficult for me, and I know a little bit of Spanish, to follow along, but I just watch what she does, and she's great too. So that's where I got the idea of making the next pages like an advent calendar and opening up for um, each day, uh, or 12 days of Christmas, or even starting December 1st, the countdown till Christmas. Um, so that's what I'm planning on doing. So I'm going to have more videos on what I'm going to be doing on each of those pages. Join me for that. But please like and subscribe if uh, you like how I did this journal. And leave a comment of what you'd like to see inside this. Or give me some ideas. That would be wonderful. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now.